What's up? Uh, yours truly was um, under attack today on a podcast something and it was given to me by the fans people telling me oh Charlemagne just eat for you on his podcast show and I'm like what he eat at me like what is what did he say and nobody can tell me what he says so I was like well just send me the link I'll listen to this thing so as I'm listening to this just dull show. It finally gets to he's like, and he's, this guy on YouTube he keeps talking about me. And I was like, okay, well maybe this is what they're talking about. Let me pay attention now. And he's like, yeah, and you know I don't care. You know I my thing is I listen to everything and I respond to nothing. But he's getting ready to respond now because obviously it's something that's bothering you. So he goes off with, yeah, and this guy who's still in his mama's house. And I don't care because it's not going to do anything for you to make the video about me. And I, every video, he keeps talking about some uh, how the people wanted him to do it and he really didn't want to do it. Uh, I really don't. <laughs> I don't watch your show. I don't go up and say, oh man, I wonder what happened on The Breakfast Club. I wouldn't know if they didn't bring it to my attention. You see, Charlemagne or Charla. You know, why you was making yourself, you know, look like the Danish girl. I don't I don't know why, doing all that craziness, you know. I, I tried to inform you that not everybody watches your show. Not everybody's caught into the ego thing. But I have thousands of videos. Thousands. On my YouTube page. You're only in five. Five videos. One, two, three, four, five. I'm looking at them right now. The first video I ever done about Charlemagne was five months ago. Ever. The truth behind Charlemagne the God bleaching his skin. That's the one that got you feeling testy? Or the one I did about Birdman and Charlemagne? Because I don't go out of my way to do this. People wanted me to do that. They wanted to know what was going on with Charlemagne. You went like a black milk dud to looking like an orange. Looking like you from Veggie Tales or something. I don't know what's going on with you. Like I'm saying, you bought in the second transformation of becoming Caitlyn Jenner. I, I don't know what's going on. So I'm like, I don't watch the show, but I know you don't look normal. I'm like, something's going on with this dude. He like he liposuctioning and and got the the eyebrows all waxed. I don't know what's going on with homie over there. I thought he was a brother. <laughs> I don't know what he is now. So that was five months ago. Then you appeared on Empire. Someone said, Hey, did you see Charlemagne on Empire? I, at that time I was on vacation at my mother's house. So, I was in one of the many rooms in that home. So, when I made that video, maybe you thought I lived there. So, I don't know. But, after that, I responded to what people wanted me to say on Empire. So, we got your skin. <laughs> we got the Empire. Then we had the uh, Birdman, no, the LL Cool J incident. And then we had Birdman. And you boxed Sean Porter. Got in the ring with him. Boxing for a sparring session. I own a boxing website with Sean Craddock. Called Boxing Socialist. So we was both. We got the. You know we got the press release for it. To show up there. To cover the event or whatever. But. I'm like, there's no need to cover it. <laughs> People are going to be there to cover it anyway. So why are you so testy? What has got your testes up in your crack today? It was because the one I did four days ago, when I imitated your voice, that hurt your feelings? Does it sound so true? The thing that, that hurts his heart is the fact that 
he know deep down inside I'm right. <laughs> and my thing is, if you don't, if you talk about some, hey, it don't bother you no way or another. You don't bother me. I don't care. If you don't care, don't say nothing. That's the big. That's the best way to show you don't care, Charlotte. Is to just say nothing. That's it. So what you say, I'm gonna get ten seconds of fame. And this is going to make you real happy. Nobody asked me to do this one. They just brought it to my attention. And I decided to address it. I shouldn't say dress with you. Because you might be in the midst of... The, I don't know what's going on with you. Hey. Equal, brother. You know, I don't know what's going on with you. Equal rights. I don't know if you're trying to get into the women's bathroom and the men's bathroom. I, hey, that's your business. That is your business, and I won't cross that line. And to the Jewish guy cutting your checks, I don't even know what you do or who you are, but I don't know if you're trying to work for the ESPN or something. I don't know. But if you want to learn something, you can come to my channel. If not, then just sit behind that microphone and, and you know, BS with him all you want. But everything I said about you has been quite accurate you know and and if you didn't like the fact that I said if you gonna put on gloves why don't you get in there with LL Cool J that would have done a lot better and a lot more attention than the Sean Porter incident that was just my opinion a lot of people agreed so my thing is for the people that dish it out like you do like oh people can't handle reality people too, they take themselves too seriously well, if that's the case, then what you doing right now? Taking yourself a little bit too seriously. Charlotte a retard. So, I'm out. It's your boy Carcino. And next time, just say my name right. Because I'm coming to dinner.